Hey, Little Woman 21 here, and today I am not going to do a normal thing. Today I'm actually going to kind of do like a DIY type of thing uh, for Ally Bear. <laughs> um, as a cat, she needs to be able to tr to really patrol her areas without really touching the ground. So um, we're going to put shelving in our room. As you can see, she can get up onto the bed and the dressers, but she really doesn't have, um, like, she really doesn't have space to come up here since we just, like, moved around our whole room to just, like, come up and explore and patrol, like, the outside and everything, so, yeah. So what we have here today is, uh, simple stuff like shelving, um, like parts like the wood and the and that you can you can get them at like Home Depot or even Walmart for like really cheap. We have a few screws, a staple gun, a toolbox, and uh, to add to the comfort factor, we have a little bit of our extra carpet that we're gonna put on it to be completely safe and to be uh, you know just clean. Like we have a plastic like sheet that we're gonna put down and there's Allie all curious about what's happening <laughs> so what you do first pretty much is measure everything out <laughs> and we also have gloves for protective stuff too um, but yeah you want to measure out like where everything is going to go like on the um, on the wall and where this is going to go so it's level, centered, it just works with what you're trying to do. After you've measured everything, make sure that you have like pretty much marked with like a sharpie or any permanent marker like where it's going to be and then keep measuring out uh, because this is going to be the bottom, the other side uh, is going to be where we're going to be drilling because it doesn't have really anything on it um but yeah so we're going to pretty much just put everything in in the right spot another thing you need to make sure is if the kitten likes said material for the shelving and she definitely does she's being very protective over it right now <laughs> all right so we have determined through measurements on this board here we are at 29 inches for the entire board, and dots are 21 inches apart. Uh, all there is now is uh, we're going to take these, these uh, wall brackets here, we're going to map out where we can drill into the walls, and uh, yeah, we know how far apart they need to be, and we're at, yeah, where we want them, so just got to find a stud make sure we can drill in. Yeah. The key uh, to centering your your shelving is getting like where you want it to be centered. So what I've done is for the frame because we're going to put it under the frame and not right under the window. Is I've measured the frame and it's about 74 and a half. So it's going to be 37 and a quarter. Yes. So right here. Alright, and that's where we're going to make a mark. Yep. So, just drilled screws into their proper locations, just to make sure that they're not going to go anywhere. I'm uh, hitting them with some super glue. Just uh, make sure that if there is any vibration or moving of these brackets, then it doesn't wobble the screws and make them come out a little bit or compromise its uh, integrity, structurally. <laughs> this is the this is pretty much the product after we've drilled in uh, the nails. Uh, we had to do a very difficult thing <laughs> because we didn't have the right size nails. So what we did we was had sauce. <laughs> <laughs> so what we did was uh, we like we made the holes themselves like with a screwdriver, and then these. Uh, this is how long the screws were, and. Uh, that's about how much we cut off, is a uh, piece like that. Actually, I can show you these pieces that we had to cut out. 
<laughs> so that uh, we don't have anything sharp sticking up, or we're gonna have Allie's stuff. Some rocks or carpeting or whatever we decide to go with. So what we essentially did was, once we put them through, because they weren't uh, wide enough, they would just slip through the brackets underneath. Uh, they, uh, we sawed off the ends with our saw. You can do it with a regular saw, seeing as how we Something drilled the holes metal. with a regular hole. Well, you have to have a saw that cuts metal. Probably a, a hacksaw, if, you, if you're going to go with some sort of handsaw. But if it, it's really best if you just get the right type of screw. We did it really DIY. <laughs> so now that you're done with the initial screws, we can start measuring out the carpet that's going to go on to it for the final product. And what you do is you line it up on the board and then you can flip it over to mark it where you're going to cut it. Now that you have your line done, you can use any type of scissors. We used, we are using shears. Chop, chop, chop. <laughs> to cut it. But you just cut along the line that you made when um, lining it up with the board. Once you check that your final product of the cut carpet fits your board once more, you're gonna want to take care of all of the frilly things on the end so that way your cat can't unravel it too quickly. Alright, so we went out and got some uh, adhesive stuff, uh, something to put the, to be able to glue the carpet onto the board essentially, or to attach the carpet to the board, uh, to the shelf itself. Um, and as you can see here, uh, we've been using this double-sided carpet tape. Now, uh, it, it's extremely easy to apply, and I'm going to show you exactly how to cut it. And as you can see here, I basically just cut each strip to length to where I want the, uh, the glue to be on the carpet. Alright, so we pretty much have one shot at this, <laughs> because this tape is so sticky. Uh, picking it up and removing it afterward will be nearly impossible without having to reapply a lot of tape and scraping it off of this board. So. Uh, let's hope to God we line it up right. <laughs> and... Alright, and looks good. Looks like we got it. Just make sure it's on there. Nice and secure. Press down on it. <laughs> yeah, and then pulling it up is going to be really difficult for the cat. So, sweet. That, uh, that looks like it's about it, really. I don't actually think we even need our uh, tack nails that we got, so. But you, can, uh, but you can use them if you feel like it needs more securing. Right now, uh, we're confident in the tape, mm -hmm. but there will be a follow-up if it's not. <laughs> yep. All right, so this is our, uh, our shelf. All we have left to do is glue some rocks that we're gonna get, uh, that we actually have already. We're gonna glue them over these little holes here because there are little bits of metal kind of sticking out there. And uh, yeah, that'll secure the all that in place. It'll be nice and good. Hey, so the next step is your rocks. That are like, you know, you pretty much like can use any little thing like tufts of like grass from the store or something, but I'm using, or plastic blocks or something, but I'm using natural rocks. It gives it more of a nature feel to it, like a more natural feel. And um, we got ours just outside from like our little like rock bed because like it was more convenient, but you can go to a park or if you want to just like get like a bag of it or something, go to like Home Depot or even Walmart and they might have like a small bag of it. But yeah, so um, it's not just getting the right rocks. The most important thing about these is you need to wash them and not just rinse them. You need to use actual soap, like any soap will do just as long soap. as it's <laughs> disinfectant. Now for um, another step, which is putting the rocks on to the actual board. 
Uh, we are going to use Crazy Glue. It's um, pretty much it's all purpose, so it's compatible with pretty much any material. You kind of want to get the one that says all purpose, or else it might not work. So, yeah. and all I'm gonna do is like apply to the place that I want to put it on. There's a cat outside the door. And add a rock. I'm gonna hold it until it sticks. So now that I have put on all of the rocks, um, you can see that I covered up any holes or screws that might be like sticking out and stuff so it's like safe and fun and she can rub herself like on like her face and stuff or she can just like play with it but as you can see on really there. sturdy and long lasting as you can see we got our first two screws in just like um, putting a new like tire on your car you don't want to completely um, tighten them until all of them are in and so yeah to completely support it use all of the holes of like your mechanism pretty much or else it won't be as sturdy now that it's completely done we see that the kitten can get on it quite nicely and always make sure that your kitten likes it which she doesn't hate it so that's fine <laughs> Stay lovely.